what is going on guys and welcome to another video today we're going to be breaking down why marcy has a 49.12 percent win rate honestly this is a very support glorified hero like valve just seemingly wants to make this a support hero like the facets are all about supporting the innate ability is also about supporting make marcy a core again like i know when she was released she was pretty much one of the most broken heroes to ever be released but those times are over marcy is not nearly as strong as she used to be hence why the under 50 percent win rate but it's not by much the hero still can do a lot and if in the right hands and being played correctly the hero can actually do quite a bit now let's break down the facets and the innate ability so the facet you guys are going to be running is bodyguard honestly this is just to protect an ally countering attacks if they are directed towards that ally and you could kind of counter those attacks honestly you're not going to be using any of these facets the other one is just as support heavy and your innate ability is allied couriers gain three bonus levels and one health so this is really good for you to get the flying courier a lot faster it is okay i guess but it's just not what mercy needs like why don't you give some more damage to unleash why don't you make her a little bit stronger i don't know something more fun than just leveling up couriers like that is probably one of the most boring innate abilities in dota like it just doesn't belong on a super fun hero like marcy like marcy is just such a fun hero to play she has so much burst potential and so much damage that she honestly deserves to be a core she needs to have a better facet she needs to have a better innate ability but let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about these i think they're absolutely terrible they're just boring but people still find ways to have fun with marcy even though you're not counting on your innate ability and you're not counting on your facet to make you a better core now for support marcy these are pretty decent like it is pretty good for you to run support marcy i just think there's much better options for you guys to be running than support marcy i think marcy's best position is mid lane and off lane and a very situational carry if it's a right matchup you could play marcy carry and go for the battle fury build it is pretty strong so you can do that but overall i think mid lane is a very good spot for the marcy because you're going to get those extra levels you're going to be able to farm but you can benefit from the side lanes as you're going to be a lot more active and you have more kill potential than from the mid lane but from the mid lane you can play very active as soon as you get your phase boots so let's break down the build first of all you guys want to get yourselves a bracer you want to get yourself a magic wand and then you go straight into the phase boots aghanim scepter this is going to allow you to play super aggressive just off the phase boots alone you're going to have a lot of damage and once you hit level six it's go time no matter who you're going up against it is go time you can pretty much kill from zero to 100 any hero in the game as long as you have some levels in your rebound that's going to do that extra damage and that extra dispose damage plus unleash are going to give you that extra push for you to be able to take care of a lot of heroes if not the majority of heroes in the game level six unleash is no freaking joke this ability is just super super strong one of the bad things about marcy is she's a pretty slow farmer you're not a great stack taker unless you have a support nearby that way you can rebound other than that it's not that great i think marcy is just the type of hero kind of like a tusk from the mid lane where you just want to constantly play active looking for plays looking for ganks and being as active as possible when you guys don't have a leech when you guys have level six on cooldown please make sure you're just setting up plays like you can get kills off rebound and dispose you do quite a bit of damage with those but make sure you are not heavily committing with these abilities because it's not a ton of damage it's not your level six so make sure you are super aggressive when you have unleash and a little less aggressive when you don't have it that's just my recommendation but after the aghanim scepter you guys are going to be going for a bkb and then a basher this is going to ensure you to lock down targets also going to ensure that your unleash doesn't get absolutely canceled by a ton of stuns or by yule scepters you definitely don't want to deal with that so the bkb is a must after the aghanim scepter and then you could kind of pivot and deviate and go for items like bloodthorn daedalus nullifier whatever you guys may need you could potentially get a butterfly you can get a silver edge you can get a blank dagger there's a lot of items you can get the more damage the better on the marcy the faster you're going to be able to take down targets now let's break down some of the best and worst matchups for marcy so some of the best matchups are doom arc warden bloodseeker pudge shadow feed you're very good up against these matchups you can do a ton of work especially against shadow feed he's just so squishy once you hit level six you can just beat him into oblivion and like that hero is just super squishy and heroes like pudge as well bloodseeker even arc warden in the mid lane especially arc warden is one of the highest win rate heroes in dota if not the highest right now if he hasn't been passed the hero is absolutely insane you might not do very well against him in lane but once you hit level six that arc warden is going to die hands down if you know what you're doing it's going to be a very easy kill onto the arc warden but in the lane you do have to be careful as flux is very very annoying and these spark rates can do a lot of damage if you're not careful and the arc warden actually knows how to 
to place them properly it can be very problematic for you guys to play up against but it is a pretty solid matchup overall throughout the game you buy a blink dagger against the arc warden you can just pop him and he's a very squishy hero arc warden is the type of hero that likes to be able to do all the damage without being touched but as soon as you get on top of him the hero just kind of gets obliterated he's a very frail hero now some of the bad matchups are troll warlord omni knight medusa wind ranger these types of heroes that are insanely hard to bring down especially troll warlord he can just get on top of you pop ulti and there's really not a whole lot you're going to be doing to the hero you're going to miss a lot of attacks as well just because of troll warlord's evasion with the axes it can become a big issue omni knight is just gonna kite you he's just way too tanky for you to take care of quickly enough marcy is the type of hero that likes to go in burst the target maybe two if they're squishy and then reset and get out and kind of play around dispose and relocation that's what you like to get into you don't like to go in into five heroes unless you have your ultimate if you have your ultimate go for it you can do as much as you want once that ultimate is gone then kite back and be less aggressive because your burst power is gone that is the most amount of damage you're going to do in a very quick timing and heroes like medusa and wind ranger they're just very tanky they require full commitment from you and that is something that marcy does not like to do you don't like to full commit onto a lot of heroes you want to be able to get them quickly and jump onto the next target quickly but you don't want to stay on one target and burn your entire ultimate on just one hero that doesn't feel very well because you can easily get kited and you buy items like nullifier just to get rid of yule scepters to get rid of ghost scepters like you don't want to be kited in any way because your ultimate is your main way of actually doing very heavy damage and is one of the reasons why the hero is still strong and why they ended up nerfing the aghanim scepter a few patches ago because it was just way too strong it was taking too much time off on leash and there was just very little downtime between your ultimates and that's what unlocks this hero's true power but in the late game you could end up going for a refresher and fixing those issues and being a lot more active you're also universal so you can build echo saber as well if need be if you feel like you want to have some more catch you could get that you could also get the blink dagger like i mentioned and you could also buy a scotty if you're facing up against heroes like morphling or huskar that have a lot of regen you could also get that item build is also going to work just fine hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys learned something consider subscribing and joining the dota chronicles community i post videos like this all the time let me know in the comments what other type of videos you guys would like to see from me i'm looking for ideas to do another mini series hopefully you guys can give me some recommendations on what other series you guys would like me to do and i'm definitely looking forward to seeing your opinion on the videos i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching